Hi everyone, welcome to Pi AI Borics. This is the first video of a new initiative called the Hardware Zone. In Hardware Zone playlist, you will find videos about variety of electronic hardwares which can be used to build some cool DIY projects. The purpose of these videos is to share information about the specification of the hardware, how to utilize it and from where it can be purchased. So for today's video, we'll be showing you the latest model of most popular single board compact size computer, the Raspberry Pi 4. Let's start by unboxing it. It comes in a cool red box in which you'll find the Raspberry Pi 4 board an instruction card, let me hold it correctly, and an instruction manual printed in different languages. Let's keep it aside for now and talk about the Raspberry Pi 4. Raspberry Pi 4 is a credit card size computer which has a compute power equivalent to an entry level PC. Speaking of compute power, it comes with Broadcom's quad core Cortex A72 processor which has a clock speed of 1.5 GHz which is much better than its predecessor Raspberry Pi 3. It's available in 4 different DDR4 SDRAM variants. The basic model comes with 1 GB RAM and the top model which is recently announced has 8 GB RAM. So you can pick any variant as per your requirement. There is no inbuilt memory but there is a SD card slot which supports up to 64 GB. Watch this video till the end to know about which SD card we are using and from where it can be purchased. Let's talk about the ports on the board. There are a total of 4 USB ports, out of which 2 are USB 3 and 2 are USB 2 ports, which can be used to connect USB accessories like keyboard, mouse, webcam and an external hard disk. Along with that, there are 40 GPIO pins which can be programmed using Python and supports electronic component connectivity which is quite useful for someone who wants to build some electronic projects. For internet connectivity, there is an ethernet port and for wireless functionality, there is onboard Bluetooth 5.0 and 2.5 GHz Wi-Fi. So connecting to internet or any Bluetooth device is quite simple with this model of Raspberry Pi. There are dual micro HDMI ports which supports 4K resolution that means you can enjoy 4K videos simultaneously on two different displays which makes Raspberry Pi 4 a decent video streaming device. To power up the Raspberry Pi 4 using a power adapter, there is a USB type C power port. My conclusion about the Raspberry Pi 4 is, it's quite good enough for internet browsing, video streaming and some basic official work. Along with that, it's an ideal fit for educational purpose and some DIY project stuff. I will share the link in the description from where we have bought the Raspberry Pi 4. This is not a sponsor video and we are not promoting any website or vendors. Enough about Raspberry Pi, let's look at the power adapter. It comes in a red and white color box which has power out of 15.3 watt with 5.1 volt and 3 ampere of current rating. I would suggest you to buy this power brick as it's made by Raspberry Pi itself. But any other adapter with similar voltage and current specification will also work. If you wish to buy this power adapter, you can get the link in the description. For getting started with Raspberry Pi, you need to put in the SD card with Raspberry Pi OS installed on it. We have bought the SanDisk 32GB SD card. You can also go ahead and buy the 64GB model. But make sure to have at least 16GB SD card which is recommended by the Raspberry Pi manufacturer. The SanDisk SD card comes with a card reader which is really helpful in connecting it to the laptop and load the files on it. The link for purchasing the card is in the description. This is the minimal part requirement to get started with Raspberry Pi. After inserting the SD card with correct OS on it, you can boot the Raspberry Pi and then fetch its IP address which can be used to connect to it remotely using VNC tool through laptop or PC. This type of setup is called headless setup. We will soon post videos showing all the steps required for headless setup. Please do subscribe our channel, it helps us keep making more interesting and informative videos. Do share your thoughts about the videos in the comment section. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for upcoming videos.